Happy birthday, Grimace. You need to break this up into smaller. Uh, and he's so distracted by attacking the fence. The other one's bully it and nip on its ear. We're a certified wildlife rehab. Woohoo! First girlfriend. That is a friendly cap. What do you think of that Grimace shake? You ruined Grimace's birthday. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Urban Rescue Branch. Today, I'm gonna show you guys my morning routine. My morning routine changes up quite a bit nowadays, especially now that we're a certified wildlife rehab. There's a lot of things I have to do that are different now. For starters, I take a prairie dog every morning and I put it in the blender with my blueberries. And every morning, I make my very own Grimace shake. Okay, once we put Big Ounce in there and he's in there, trust me, you can see. We just go ahead and stick him on the blender. And I like to grind Big Ounce for about 30 to 40 seconds. And this here's actually the perfect consistency you guys so we're gonna give this to big out so he can try his very own Grimace shake. Happy birthday, Grimace! Saved a little bit in here even for me. Hey, it's me, you big ounce. This looks delicious. Oh, he's trying it. Oh, big ounce, no! Big ounce, you ruined Grimace's birthday! Oh, sweet wampum, I sure do love Grimace shakes. Oh, no, big ounce! What? Big ounce is immune to Grimace shake? Well, that's pretty nifty. I mean, I guess he did survive several world wars. <laughs> Let me see if I can try some. Delicious! The fog is coming for you, Jacob. Do you think you will escape the baby's judgment? After that, I come out here and I check on these little creatures. Patrick likes to sleep in the ounce topia nowadays, and he poops a little bit in here. This is where he sleeps now, you guys. Isn't that precious? I think he likes how comfortable the wood is. But I'll wake him up, and he'll usually follow me everywhere on the property. I'm expecting the rest of the bamboo to come in today. So when the rest of the bamboo comes in, this whole thing will be done. We've gotten started on this enclosure over here, but it's going to take some time to get that finished. The house is coming along and all the fencing for the real big enclosure which is going to be a flight pen for medium-sized rafters because it's 50 feet long will be coming in on monday but take a look at this you guys i put a lock on here and my buddy put fencing along the whole bottom of this so now there's no way that those little fellas can escape what do you think patrick it's also safe for all the animals to walk on without getting their toes caught up looks like patrick's breaking it in right now oh while he's doing that i suppose i'll put this stake here to keep it open and the only thing i need to do now with the dimsdale dimmadone is put some fox high in there and then a bunch of foliage and maybe some things they can climb on along the walls. A little family of foxes is doing very well. I like to come over here and feed them through this top part. By feeding them through these holes, I minimize contact with them and I encourage them to forage on the ground. I started doing that because if I don't do that, they'll climb all over me and try to lick me. And if I film that, it would trigger every rehabber in the United States of America. But take a look at this one, you guys. This one's my favorite. It's the runt. The other ones bully it and nip on its ears and take away the food from it. So if I see that that one's not eating enough i will go in there whenever i'm spot cleaning anyway and i'll try to put some food right in front of it so that it can eat this one's name to me is pickle rick but as soon as i finish the dimsdale dimmadone today i'm gonna go ahead and put all the foxes in there so they can run around and experience their new home and that will be what's called shut up gamer and this will be what's called their pre-release enclosure over there they'll learn how to hunt stay away from people and other animals and legally before i even release them they need to express the ability to be able to hunt a wide variety of wild food Food, including quail, rats, maybe even some other little weird things like frogs. And that's why I call it the Mega Dome. Not sure how I feel about that one, guys. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you didn't like this video yet. <laughs> Where does your, where's your grandma live? Check this out, you guys. I feed them two to three times a day, steak, eggs, and fruit. And hey, it's me editing Ben. I try to be silent when I feed them so they know it's not me. There's still even a piece of steak or two on the ground for them to eat. And they're having all kinds of fun and crazy running around. And because that steak magically fell from the sky, they don't think it came from me. <laughs> My fig tree from H-E-B is dying, but it still produced some fruit. We should have a bunch of melons growing pretty soon. And yeah, we got wild Texas sunflowers that I didn't even plant. After I do my morning chores and I feed all the animals, I'll usually just go and spend the entirety of my YouTube paycheck on enclosure things. Even though I run a nonprofit, I still don't ask for money for it, as we just don't need it yet. But at this rate, I'll be broke by December. Also, this is Lake Waco, and it's actually beautiful here in the summer. Okay, take a look at this, guys. Yes, I do have a big crack on my windshield stick. I got a few alfalfa bales for the clappies. I got this bad boy 
right here. Let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking about putting these logs along here like this. That way they can climb up around the corners. And I have shade cloth for the top coming in the mail today. Chimp kid. Pigeons still hang out here by their loft. And they actually fly around to the surrounding farms and steal their corn. <laughs> but I got this fresh hay bale for the cappy. And there's mushrooms growing on this handle. But I like to throw these little slices around so they can eat them. Good morning, Quee. I do love these creatures. They're doing very well too. They love to just sleep under the trampoline per usual. But in the summer, I have to make sure that their water stays full because all these boys drink their water twice as fast. But look how friendly the cappies are now, you guys. Up until we started our cappy bar mukbang pui pui channel, these guys never used to be this friendly. And now Kumala will just throw his head back and let me kiss him right on his little nose. <laughs> What a privilege to be able to hold this boy's face and kiss him. Stop sniffing my feet, boy. Okay, I'll stop beating the dead horse, but if you guys look back to the old videos of even just a month or two ago, these guys have gotten so much friendlier. That is a friendly cappy, you guys. I kissed that man till he fell over. Okay, I'm also gonna grab a couple slices of this for baby and his wife. Here you go, you two. Please enjoy. They sure do love the alfalfa. Now, alfalfa's really high in protein and other nutrition for these guys who it's good to give them a little bit of this every now and then. Even though they have all of this grass to graze on back here. Good morning, Remington. I'll also grab a couple slices of this stuff for the goats too. After I'm done bonding with my son. Man, I just made like five TikToks with Kumala, you guys. But okay, I guess it's time to let them out into the pond. Come on, guys, hurry up. I guess I can just leave this gate open. Good morning, Homelander. Wow, look at my beautiful baby boy. Guys, I think it's high time we got this man a little wife. Pretty soon he'll be old enough. I think it's time. Oh, oh, oh. It's time we gave this beautiful little man his first girlfriend. And I'm not sure why the pond water is so foggy, but it probably has to do with all the cichlids I put in here. Now's the time of day when Kevin attacks. The oh, he's in the water. Look at that. Just like the old days back in Austin, only now he's standing in water doing it. Does my heart good to see Kevin being so cringe again. And he's so distracted by attacking the fence that I can just walk right by him. These boys have plenty of food and I finally found a new home for this big fat boy. But all right, everybody's fed now. And my favorite son, Kumala, is here. Look at this, guys. Kumala just lets me walk right up to him and pet him now. This is my new favorite animal. And he'll let me film whatever I want with. I can even get down and bite his ears, you guys. Look at this. Ow. He just doesn't even care. <laughs> Kumala is the most capybara capybara that we own. But all right, everybody, that's it for now back here. I'll let these guys hang out by the pool for today, and I'll come out later to clean all their poo. And you know what, guys? We're actually going to let Gustavo try his very first Grimace shake as well. I got a little Grimace shake here for Gustavo. Here you go, bud. Happy birthday, Grimace. I'm actually going to need to break this up into smaller. Uh -huh. Here you go, Gustavo. Try this fresh Grimace shake. No, no, that's not it. That's not it all spilled out. Little dick. So, no, it spilled out, Gustavo. Oh, he got some. There he goes. That's a nice little bite for him. Because Gustavo is my son and I love him, I like to cut his little grimace shake up into small pieces for him. Oh, gotcha. Guys, look how big my precious baby boy is getting. It's amazing how this little fella went from being a tiny, emaciated, dying crocodile to a big, beautiful baby. Go ahead, eat that. Buddy, go ahead, eat it. Yeah. Look how precious he is. I'll bring him into the sunlight for you guys. The fact that this precious little boy is okay with me holding him while he eats is also a huge testament to the amount of work we've been doing with him. He's a much friendlier boy now. And unlike where he used to live, he gets all the food he wants here. What do you think of that grimace shake, Gustavo? Patrick Bateman, quit chewing on those cords. Quit chewing on those chains, Patrick. Okay, I still need to grab that cup, but let's check the temperature in here real quick. Patrick's little horns get a little bit bigger every day. Okay, Gustavo, I need to get that cup. Come over here, buddy. Now the temperatures are back up to 103 degrees. It's a perfect day to let these little fellas get back to swim. And they also do a great job of trimming the yard. That's it for now, though, you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Court loves you and appreciates you. Big Ounce loves you and appreciates you. Woohoo! Uh, we did that in unison. That's how you know we've been spending so much more time together. That moment when you yahoo in unison with your son. All right, guys, love you, appreciate you again. We'll have some big updates for the Fox Enclosure in the next video. Don't forget to give Big Ounce a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, almost forgot to tell you. Ah! 
Here's a quick channel announcement. Uh, sorry for the late video, you guys. I was busy taking care of the animals, building all these things. Uh, and then also I uh, helped Tank move into his new place. So go check out Tank, the Texas Tank YouTube channel. So feel free to check out the Urban Rescue Ranch Instagram page. I post all kinds of fun little videos for you guys to see. Love you.